<laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Friend, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Right? I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Yeah, I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith, and after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. And then we'll, you know, help you out with your thing. To the dead. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> <laughs> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. 
Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. If I can't find her stuff, I might have to. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high-rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. Holly, just because I live in the woodlands doesn't mean I'm not one of your strays. I'm not Crane or Cole. I didn't exactly grow up wearing clothes. Yeah, I know you didn't. Why'd you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I came to say I was sorry, Holly, for the funeral and everything that's happened. No, you didn't.
Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? Crane. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for faith. Oh, at least you're honest. You just remember, whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself, I'm counting on you. So don't have any more fuck-ups. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. I told you not to worry. Right. Listen, we have to hurry. I'll meet you down there. All right, I'll see you there. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Auntie Greenleaf, I need you to open this door right now. Sorry about that. Is something wrong? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. Dearie, I'm the big bad wolf. Big B. Really? <laughs> wow, I I've heard about you. Have you? Yeah, all about how the woodsman cut you open, fed you rocks for dinner, and then threw you into the ocean. And you can't even swim. Did it leave a scar? Can I see it? Are you and the woodsman friends? I heard somewhere that you guys are friends. But I mean, I wouldn't think you'd be friends after something like that. Okay, kid, look, I'll make you a deal. If you're good, I'll give you a whole demonstration. I'll be me, and you'll be the grandmother. Though, uh, I don't know if Miss White here would necessarily approve. <laughs> okay, deal. Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there... Uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Maybe come back in the morning. Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Mr. Wolf. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. We could still be here.
That your mom? Uh huh. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. Not here. There's no one here but me. How much longer do you think it'll be? Where do you buy your clothes? At a store? Oh. My mommy makes all of mine. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty one. The Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. Damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Just put it back exactly where it was, please. I'm not going to break it. I just want to open it. No, put it down. gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> Anti-green leaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. What? Not sprightly enough? You think we have time to waste on this shit? You think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. You're an accomplice to murder, do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, Whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Is it? We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? 
Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the Fables, who can't afford the glamours from you, come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two Fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. And very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. B Bigby! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking tree. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? Are moving trucks gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss the spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know. Hey, you can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... You both know what's going on. Just tell me. Oh, my God. Big me. Wait, don't. Do anything, I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on, and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. It's just just let me show you. Ah. Wait, I can't. You had to 
Just give me the chance. This will work. I assure you, everything will be solved. I went to you. Damn you, come on. Please. Tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Two. Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just. Oh God. Are you all right? <laughs> we found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's, that was. I just. I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much to... Shut up. Don't talk to me. Okay, okay. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own... ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. And maybe he is. This fuck-up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't! Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? You know, when I saw you come back here, I thought this was over. Now, I know, and I'm sorry, but if the killer's still out there, I want to know who it is. This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so- You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. You are extraordinarily lucky Miss White was here to save your ass. Because if it was up to me, you'd have your head swinging from the Washington Bridge. Okay, Sheriff, that's enough. This can't be Greenleaf again and again, behaving however you like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby. And you have to respect me as its leader, starting now. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no regrets. Yeah, see, the thing of it is, we're better at this than you are.
What are you saying? What you got there? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Guys? Speak English? If I were you, I'd get out of the way. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wha what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This is my job. I like my job. So think about what I'm gonna do to you, your girl, and the rest of your friends if you don't hand over the sock puppet now. You can fuck off if you think you're getting him. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it.
now. It just didn't know when to end. You know, you didn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a big case. Right, Wolfie? I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys, <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yes! Get out of here! It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. <coughs> well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. After what they did to you, are you even going to be able to stop them? Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? 